we're gonna say, hey, look, we're gonna reverse it so we don't mess up the accountant. As a, and all of our reversing entries are gonna happen as of the first day of the next period. So I'm not gonna make, you might say, well, why don't I make the reversing entry as of 315? Because then when I reverse it, it'll net out on that exact day and we'll have 15 days that are kind of more accurate than they otherwise would be. But our goal isn't really to make things accurate during the 15 middle of the month period. They're, the goal is to make things accurate as of the end of the period and make the adjusting and reversing entry as easy as possible. I don't wanna to have to hunt for when the adjusting and reversing entries were put in place. I wanna know where they are very clearly. Therefore, we'll do all of the reversing entries the day after the cutoff. So all I'm gonna do is reverse exactly what we did with the adjusting entry. So if I go back on over, keep on messing up how I go back and forth. If I go back on over, if I look at this adjusting entry, you can even take a screenshot of it or something. I'm just gonna, and then just reverse it. So I'm just gonna go into that. There it is. I, I credited interest payable, debited interest expense. I'm gonna do the exact opposite now. All right, so let's close it back out. I'm gonna do it with the registers again. You could do it with a journal entry form. We're gonna make a journal entry form, but we'll do it with the registers. So I'm gonna go back to the first tab into the accounting down below. We're in the chart of the accounts. And if you were in the bookkeeping or the business view, by the way, the accounts, the chart of accounts is located under bookkeeping and then the chart of accounts. And then I can't go to the interest expense account because it doesn't have a register. I've got to go to that interest payable that I set up with, it, which is an other current liability account. There it is. There it is. Register. And then I'm just going to do the exact opposite of what I did here. So no problem. All right. Now all the, I'm going to hit the drop down and say, I want to do an adjusting entry or a journal entry and all of the reversing entries are going to be as of the first day after the cutoff. The cutoff is 228. So we're going to do this the first day of the next period, 030123, March 1st. And then the memo, I'm going to put reversing entry. I might want to put more than that, what the reversing entry is doing and so on. But at the very least, I want to say it's a reversing entry to indicate to ourselves or the accounting department, hey, look, this is a reversing entry. How can you tell? because the date is 3-1, because it's a journal entry and not using any other kind of form because we put in the memo as well, reversing entry. And then we're gonna say that this is gonna be a decrease of the 72.92. The other side's gonna go, and this is funny, interest expense. Why is it funny? Because now we're reducing an expense account, which you don't normally do. Expense accounts only go up usually an, until you close them out in the closing process. So we'll say why this is why we're doing this. Let's save it and close it. And that brings this back down to zero. 